Look, you got it wrong. A trading strategy is not going to make you consistently profitable. What you need is a... Hello, hello, this is Jason E. And welcome to the Trading and Ascension YouTube channel, which is a spinoff the podcast. While discussing topics related to personal development, spiritual growth, and day trading, this podcast provide and this YouTube channel provides thought-provoking concepts and direct source energy to help us evolve as humans and professional traders, all while I'm logging my journey. In today's episode, I want to talk about the two secret truths about a trading strategy. I'll give them to you. And if you're online, if you're searching for a strategy or you're strategy jumping, strategy is strategy, and you can't seem to get to, you know, break even or consistent profitability, this video is for you. So like we hate to drive through, let's get it in. First off, I got the mind map out today. Pull the screen over. So let's break it down just to give you a, a visual of my words here and kind of see the, the thought pattern here. So secret number one, like I said in the pre-roll, you don't need a strategy. What you do need is an edge. So you may say, hey, Jason, what's the difference? What's the difference between a strategy and an edge? I thought I needed a strategy. Well, three things I want to break down. Number one, mechanics alone is a strategy. It's indicators, patterns, however, you know, people enter the market. It could be every time of the year, whatever it is, mechanics alone. Now, an edge is a refined strategy, and that includes a whole bunch of things, but I'm going to keep it simple, and I'm going to use the acronym REB. That is risk management, execution, and belief. So when you take the mechanics and you add REB to it, that's how you start to get an edge in the market. Now, a strategy shows all opportunities. Every time you should enter, right, based on the mechanics, you see it, you enter. But an edge, you only enter on the best opportunities of the ones available. And that's based off market context and based off experience, right? You know, when you're following someone's strategy, you may say, I did everything for the strategy and I still lost. But as you get more experience and you work with your edge, you understand, oh, well, you know what? At that level, I shouldn't have took that trade. At this time of the day, time of the week, I shouldn't have took that trade. With this volume, with this volatility, I shouldn't have took that trade. So you'll have more information, which makes the edge. Now, three, a strategy, it fuels emotion. It makes you emotional because there's uncertainty and loss is devastating because you're taking all opportunities. So you don't know. You know, when you should be losing, if you should be, if that loss is, is okay for your game plan. But when you have an edge, you're less emotional because you understand it's a numbers game. You know, all right, I'm going to win in this strategy 60% of the time, right? So you know that, you know the numbers, then loss is acceptable, right? So if it was 60% for your game plan, you know, for those four losses you're going to take, it's not devastating, right? It's not going to crush you. So you don't need a strategy. You need an edge. All right. Does that make sense? So you may ask the next question here, which is how do I get an edge? I'm going to tell you a few things you got to do to get an edge. Number one is you have to plant your flag on a strategy. You know, if you're familiar with Mark Douglas, disciplined trader, or Paula Webb, who is phenomenal. Go check out the episode with Paula Webb. She's spitting game. But you have to plant your flag because they tell us that strategy jumping is one of the biggest reasons traders fail until they eventually quit because they're jumping strategies. They don't stay there detailed, um, stay there and add enough detail to it to make it an edge and they end up quitting. So you have to plant your, your flag. Pick a strategy. Honestly, does it matter? Like if there was one strategy, everyone would be using it. But you can see on YouTube, if you talk to real professional traders, you understand that they all have different markets, they have different time frames, and their strategy is personalized to them. So it doesn't really matter. You pick one and you hone it, you rev it, 
right? That REB until you have an edge. Now, strategy can have all types of things, but there's three main things that I'm going to focus on in this video just to keep it simple. Number one is you need entry rules. You know, need to know exactly when you're going to get in the market. Second thing is you need trade management rules. You need to know how to manage your stop loss, your targets while you're in the trade. And number three, you need exit rules. You need to know when it's time to get out of the game. Now, you want to have this pre-planned because you don't want to be doing this off of emotion in the market. And as you take your strategy and you start deploying it, you'll start to learn what works, what doesn't work. And you're polishing it up, right? You're polishing it up and you're getting your edge. Now, when you polish those three things, right, the entry rules, the trade management, the exit rules, and then you start to log the results, it's going to give you confidence, right? Because... If you're down, if you're like, man, these are down times, when you're not managing those three things, your entry, your exit, and your trade management, when you're not revving it, right, then you don't know what to do. You just want to quit. But when you're paying attention to these things and you're tracking your results, you got pictures, you got data, that's your edge. You can look back in the down times and say, you know what, this worked in these last thousand pictures I took. I think I can do this, right? I just need to walk away for the day. I need to get my mindset right, whatever it is. But you have data to make accurate decisions, not emotional decisions. Now, it gives you an execution form to finely tune. So when you have your, your entry rules, it's like shooting a free throw, right? And you're controlling the variables that you can. So imagine if an NBA player or any basketball player, if they went in the gym, time to shoot free throws, and all they did was work on getting the crowd lower. All right, I'm going to practice this. Then they just throw the ball up. But you can't control the crowd, right? So when you're working on things that aren't your entry rules, your trade management, your exit rules, you're working on things you can't control, right? Don't worry about the crowd if you're a hooper. Shoot your free throw. You're worried on your form. Your form is getting in the market, managing your trade, getting out of the market, right? So you're finally tuning that. You're controlling what you can control, and that is going to create your edge. All right. So that is going to be first thing, right? That's secret number one. Let's jump back on the mind map here. Now, secret number two is you are the edge. You are the operating power. It doesn't matter whose strategy you're using. If it works for them, it may not work for you because the operator mistakes, user error, the human factor. Nothing works without you. It's up to you to find a strategy, plant your flag, polish it until you have an edge, right? It's up to you to find a market that works for you. I had King David on the show, if you guys are familiar with that guy. Um, and he talked about matching the market to your personality, right? Go listen to season three, episode maybe one or two. It's up to you to figure out your risk management. You may use the 2% rule. I've seen books. I can't think of the name of it, but there's more complex and more dynamic risk management strategies that you can deploy. It's about skill stacking. When you focus on the basics, right? When you focus on the REB, the REB, when you focus on the entry, the trade management and the exit, you can start stacking skills. And then when you're on YouTube, you're not just looking for a strategy. You're looking for details for your specific problem that you can implement. And then you're looking for applicable knowledge, right? And then you can separate it. You can say, all right, I'm going to go on YouTube today. I just want some entertainment. I want some motivation, right? I'm going to trade in Ascension because there's a host of motivational videos. And then another day you may say, you know what? This is my specific problem based on the data, based on my risk management, my, my execution and my belief, right? So risk Execution belief, that's your rev, that's your edge. Get in a routine of working on those things. Use the data to build confidence. I hope this was helpful. These videos are, are super fun to create. Go check out the podcast. I got some great guests on there. That's fun to create. Um, if this helped you, tell a friend, right? Tell a trader that you care about. Tell a human you care about. You can check out more thought-provoking concepts and information on personal development, spiritual growth, and day trading on the Trading Ascension podcast here on YouTube on these videos. Appreciate you watching. Hit the like button. Please subscribe. You can see I'm trying to be consistent, right, and helping you all. So one thing, 
before I go, remember to be the hero of your story.